this example, we're going to discuss rational equations involving uniform motion. And we'll solve by factoring. Alicia rows a boat downstream for 182 miles. The return trip upstream took 12 hours longer. If the current flows at 3 miles per hour, how fast does Alicia row in still water? So recall that for uniform motion problems, we used a specific formula, rate times time equals distance. And with rational equations, we can rewrite this formula as t equals d over r or r equals d over t. Recall that if you set it equal to t, that means you want to find the rate. If you set it equal to r, you want to find the time. So let's look at our problem again. If the current flows at 3 miles per hour, how fast does Alicia row in still water? How fast is the rate? Meaning we'll be using this first formula. Let's go ahead and set up a table. Rate, time, distance. And here we have two situations, the boat going downstream Downstream means that the boat went faster. Upstream, meaning the boat went slower. All right, let's go ahead and look at our parameters. For downstream, the boat traveled 182 miles, so there's the distance. We do not know the rate in which Alicia rode in still water but we do know that the current was 3 miles per hour. That means whatever the rate was in still water, she was going a little faster, in fact, 3 miles per hour faster. And the time t is t. Upstream, because she went a little slower, she still rode 182 miles. However, she was going slower, so she was going the rate in which she would go in, in still water and going three miles per hour slower. This caused her to take a lot more time, meaning that whatever time she took before, it took 12 hours longer, meaning plus 12. Great, let's go ahead and set up our equations. So the first equation is the downstream. So t, the time it took Alicia rowing downstream was the distance, 182, over the rate, which is r plus 3. The time it took going upstream was t, and I'll put us for upstream, took 12 hours longer equal to the distance, 182, over the rate, r minus 3. So we want to set these two times equal to each other. The time it took to go upstream equal to the time it took going downstream. However, we don't have the upstream isolated, do we? So let's go ahead and subtract 12 from each side and get t going upstream equal to 182 over r minus 3 minus 12. All right, setting these two equal to each other now, we get 182 divided by r minus 3 minus 12 equal to the time it took going downstream, which is 182 over r plus 3. And now we can go ahead and take this equation and solve. 